Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Zellman Z7 case. This mid-tower ATX case is mostly steel except for a few plastic parts, mesh and is currently only available in a black color. Conveniently located at the top is a microphone jack, headphone jack, two USB ports, an external serial ATA port, the reset button, power button, as well as the hard drive activity and power LEDs. And note that the Zalman logo is illuminated in blue. There are four five and a quarter inch drive bays and each drive cover is mesh which provides excellent ventilation. There's also a five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch drive bay adapter at the very bottom and an included three and a half inch drive bay cover. The front bezel can be removed by pulling at the bottom. Note that each drive bay cover doubles as a removable dust filter. They include a 120 millimeter blue LED intake fan, but a 140 millimeter fan can be installed if preferred. And note that this fan is mounted on a removable hard drive cage. On the left side panel is an included 120 millimeter intake fan, and it comes with a two channel fan controller. Note that another optional fan can be installed on the left side panel and they do include another 120 millimeter fan but it's not installed. Also if preferred 80, 92 and 140 millimeter fans can be installed on the left side panel. On the right side panel there's no fans or ventilation. At the back of the case at the top is where a standard ATX power supply gets installed. They include a 120 millimeter exhaust fan, but an 80 millimeter or 92 millimeter can be installed if preferred. Here's where the motherboard's IO shield plate gets installed, and they include two rubber grommeted holes for a water cooling system's tubes to pass through. There are seven ventilated expansion slots, extra ventilation, and four thumb screws, two on each side panel and the left side panel can be secured using an optional lock. This case fits micro ATX and standard ATX form factor motherboards. There's a fair amount of room to work on the inside, but unfortunately the motherboard tray is not removable. Up to five three and a half inch drives can be installed on this removable drive cage, and there are rubber grommets on each screw hole to prevent vibrations. Note that the five and a quarter inch drive bays have a toolless design, and so do all of the expansion slots. There's also a large hole on the motherboard tray for the cooler's retention plate, which is an enormous time saver. This case fits video cards up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length. And at the bottom, there are four rubber feet. Finally, have a listen to the cooling. Right now, every fan is at the low speed. Now, on the left side panel, you can control the speed of these two fans. And I have installed the 120 millimeter fan that they include as an extra fan with the case. So now have a listen as I increase these two fans from the low speed to the high speed. This case has some really nice styling, plenty of fans, lots of drive bays, a toolless design, a hole on the motherboard tray for the cooler's retention plate, and lots of other features. Now it might not have a black interior, and it's not all aluminum, and as well the power supply install location is at the top and not at the bottom, but overall considering the price and the features, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.